factors, affecting friction. Friction, depends on, the smoothness, or roughness, of the surface, of the object. Some, of the factors, that affect, friction, are. The texture, of the surface, and the object. The area, of an object, which is in contact, with the surface. The weight, on the surface. To understand these, let us perform, some activities. Take, a table. Place, a toy car, on its one corner. Push the car, and, observe the distance, covered by the car. Mark the point, where the car, stops. Now, cover the table, with a table cloth. Repeat, the experiment. Measure the distance, covered, by the car, this time. It is observed, that, in the first case, the car, moved rapidly, and covered, more distance. In the second case, it moved slowly, and covered, less distance. This proves that, the motion is fast, on the smooth surface, as compared, to the rough surface. Hence, we conclude that, rough surface, offers, a greater force of friction, than, the smooth surface. Let us perform, another activity, to prove, that, larger the surface, in contact, the greater, is the friction. Take, a big box, push it, from one side. It is observed, that, it is difficult, to move the box, because, large surface area, is in contact, with ground surface. Friction, can be reduced, by reducing, the area, of contact, between the two, rubbing surfaces. This is done, with the help, of rollers. Now, place, cylindrical logs, of wood, under the box. This will reduce, friction, between, the two surfaces, and, help, in rolling the object, with ease. The force of friction, increases, if the two surfaces, are pressed, hard. Let us understand this, with the help, of an activity. You can observe that, it is very easy, to drag, a bed sheet, on the floor. But, when, a heavy object, is placed, on the bed sheet, it is difficult, to drag. This is because, the two surfaces, are pressed hard, and, the force, of friction, is greater.